G'day guys, we've got a 2006 Holden Viva in today, 1.8 litre, running rough, dead misfire, engine light on, and uh, we've just plugged the scanner in and we've checked for codes, and we have, let me just go away from that so you can see, we've got P0204, cylinder 4, injector circuit problem, and P0300, random cylinder misfire detected. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out there, we're going to pull a little bit of wiring back, uh, we're going to see if we can back probe the injectors and see what's going on and determine what we need to do. So hopefully you can see that guys, you know sometimes we don't need to use a scope for everything, um, these are obviously, these wires are heavily covered in tape so I have to pull everything back. So what I did was I just disconnected the plug to see if it made a difference on number 4 and it actually makes no difference at all. And I decided, why not, I've got my Noid light set here, just put a Noid light on it, hopefully you can see that flashing, that's indicating we've got control. Granted, we cannot see actual amount of voltage, so it doesn't really prove 100% to us that we've got the right amount of voltage to actually run that injector. So we're going to do a few, a few more further tests now and, and decide what we need to do. Okay guys, we're quite busy here today, so as you can see, got a few in. I couldn't really get my uh, my Pico trolley over here. So I've got the Viso on there. And what I've done is I've gone to a known good number one. I'm doing voltage versus amperage. So I've got an amp clamp around one wire. We've got the voltage on the control wire. And as you can see, that is our known good. So we've got a nice clean ramp up for the amp line. And we've got a great looking injector waveform right there. So I'm just gonna swap these over. It's a little bit tricky just because of the tape around the wires. So I'm gonna turn the cam off to, you know, so you guys don't see me struggling trying to get this tape off. And I'll set it up on the uh, on the bad injector and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, we are set up. We are running. As you can see, we're on the same scale there and we have got absolutely minimal nothing. So what I'll do is I'll just change the scale. We're on 50 volts at the moment go down to 20 start to see something 10 let's go down to 5 and we start to see a horrific waveform with almost zero amperage at all so we're suggesting that this uh, injector is going to have extremely low resistance so what I'm going to do is I'll turn it off and uh, we'll just unplug it and we'll check the resistance of the known good number one and also number four and we'll see what they're at Hey guys, I've got my multimeter on it. I'm doing my best to hold these like chopsticks with one hand. And there we go, we've got 15 ohms on the number one injector. So I'm gonna go set this up on the number four and I'll come back over to you once I've got my chopstick set up. So you probably can't see, but my chopsticks are set up there. Open circuit. So that explains why we were getting almost absolutely nothing on the Viso. So what we'll do is, I'll speak to the customer, we'll see if he wants to get some injectors in this. If he does, we will get some after comparison waveforms, but as you can see, the, the first number one cylinder was obviously the actual proper comparison. Clearly this injector number four is faulty, needs replacement, and once it's done, this car will be fixed. If he does want to go ahead, I will show the replacement and obviously the after, but if he doesn't, this is the end of the video, guys. So I will say now, thanks for watching, and if you were happy with this and this was any use to you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.